Previously on Big Brother All-Stars, Chilltown targeted James. For me, there's no turning back. He has to go because if he stays, he's really going to be coming after me, and thus you. And they convinced Janelle to turn on the final member of her Season 6 alliance. I'm not going to lie to you, you will probably get nominated, but we can get rid of James. Danielle worried that Will was up to no good. He's sticking with the LOD plan. I got concerns, Danielle. I think he's just double dipping. If Boogie and Will pull something and James walks out the door, God help them. And the puppet master continued to lie. Listen, I'm not going to do something that we don't discuss. I think James needs to leave. He's very untrustworthy, and at the end of the day, I don't think he has our backs. While deceiving Danielle, Chilltown continued their showman strategy. Hey, honestly, I do feel like I have Janelle wrapped around my finger. I feel like Janelle is in the palm of my hand. No, I'm not drinking now. So but Will and Boogie argued over which girl would take them further in the game. I think I can get Erica to take me to the finals. I think Janelle can take us to the final three. At the eviction, Chilltown blindsided another all-star. James, you have been evicted from the Big Brother all-star house. And at the head of household competition, Erica seized control. Congratulations, Erica. You're the new head of household. Who will Erica nominate for eviction? And will Chilltown continue to control the house? Find out tonight on Big Brother All-Stars. By a vote of three to one, James, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. You know what? I salute the guy. The guy is an awesome, awesome competitor. And you know, deep down inside, he's a very nice person. And that's what I enjoyed about him. I really like James a lot. As a person, as a player, he's so dangerous. You've got to get those strong players out. James was evicted tonight in a three to one vote. It was the breakup of the Legion of Doom. I never really trusted James. He's a great game player and I had to get rid of him before he got rid of me. Oh, good luck everyone. Great player, James. You're a class act, buddy. We'll miss you, dude. Later, James. We'll miss you, man. We love you, James. James should have not left. He was a person that I knew I can completely trust and feel confident in, and he left. The stakes are very high right now, and I think everyone realizes that a great player just left, and our moment could come next. James definitely turned his back on me first. I didn't have a problem sending him home after I, I knew that he tried to get George to backdoor me. All right, Janelle. The whole house wants you out. James, too? James, too. What a weasel. She's just done so many shady things. James took that pretty well. I was did surprised. a good job. He did. You went out like a champion. Felt really bad. I know everyone's super bummed out of the last three evictions, and I kind of was responsible, at least in part, if not fully, for all those, so. I want people to remember that I was responsible for evicting the jury. That way, if they get the chance, maybe they'll take me with them to the finals. It's something I did in season two. I did it pretty efficiently then. Maybe I can incorporate some of that this year. Okay, fine, all three of them I was pretty much called credit or blame, but I had a lot to do with all of them. James is a heck of a player and the reason he get, got those votes is people were afraid of him. I don't think anyone can really blame anyone. I don't blame you guys. I know Will had to do what's best for him. It, it's something I'm not happy with. Or... I was not happy with this decision either. I'm just letting you guys know I'm not happy. I know. Okay? I'm on 
honestly was sitting there and I thought to myself, if it comes back to two, what would I do? Why didn't you know about that? I choose to evict James. I don't know. That doesn't sit well with me. Not me either. It doesn't make sense. And he's going to the jury house and he's gonna know. Why would she not vote for James? That's Will. He hangs out with her 12 hours a day. Will basically admitted that he had a hand of getting rid of James. I don't know if you want to talk to Will individually or whatever. I tried and I kept saying it. I said it to him 20 minutes before and I just wouldn't listen. And at the end of the day, he just said, I have to do this, I don't want to. Disunderstand, I know that you took this hard. I didn't have a vote and I think that, that Will's vote is gonna somehow represent me. And in this case, it doesn't. Danielle needs a friend. I'm playing the good cop, Will's a bad cop, and she needs to feel like one of the people from Chilltown who just bounced uh, her main ally didn't want it to happen. We have to regain control of her and have her uh, allegiance until it's time for her to go. This game is crazy. I don't know how you did this the first time. I was onto something. Get out quick before they mm -hmm. get ugly. It gets even worse. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Well, the ass is mine. The correct answer is false. Congratulations, Erica. You're the new head of household. Hi, one H. I'm in the final five Big Brother All Stars. Who would have thought it? Will, another one, dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was really happy when Erica won HOH. I can't believe she won. I was so happy. And she whispered to me, she goes, you're safe. And that's, I felt good. I don't get it. I didn't know any of them. They're all hard. Erica was the worst possible scenario for me to win HOH. I was hoping that Will or Danielle would win it. Erica wants me out of the house. Will lost another HOH. You realize I have now lost 21 HOHs in a row. The person I, I really wanted to win was either Erica or Janelle. Uh, Will uh, threw yet another competition uh, in brilliant fashion, and I think it's going to work out well for us this week. You're right. I would be shocked if Erica didn't nominate me. I nominated her twice, and she's got to get me out of the house because I win everything. Who do you think she's going to put up? Really? Yeah, but it's me and George. You guys have votes to save me. Yeah, or we know you can get out of here. We're trying to devise a plan that maybe uh, we can save all of Chilltown and myself. Um, it's gonna be pretty tough though. There's not a lot of people left in the house. You need to walk in there and try to like buddy buddy. Why it doesn't matter? It does because people are easily influenced now. He told me to go and be nice to Erica, but I have a problem being fake to people, so I don't know if that's gonna work. I never kiss butt, but I also never give up hope that something could be done. Um, you know, it could be as easy as calling a one week trip. This week, Chilltown pretty much has the same strategy we always have keep our fingers crossed, hope for the best and backstab as many people as we can. It's gonna be a rough week again, but let's see what we can do. Don't give up. Thanks for being a friend. Thank you. Hey, E. Boogies, we're gonna play Texas Hold'em. Oh, all right, I wanna play. What are you guys playing? Poker. Oh, you wanna play? Yes. Okay, well, I'll get the M&Ms. Everybody in the house is either a poker fan or wants to learn. So some of us who are poker experts uh, decided to teach them. Okay, here's the key. Green is 100, orange is 50. Everyone gets two oranges. We were using M&Ms to denote money, which is pretty simple to us, but it's really cruel to Chicken George because he's not allowed to eat them. Okay. One yellow. I'm in. Keep on betting, why? All right, you two check. straight. Check. What's check mean? Check. You don't have to put anything you don't have in to stay bet. in. Why? I want to bet. <laughs>
Damn, girl. You're probably a shark at cards, too. <laughs> and it's like, where's my money? Call. Call it. Call it. Here Oh! <laughs> Booyah, Kasha, like a beast. What'd she have? Wow. Wow. That's the first time she said she ever played cards, and she just cleaned us out. That girl I am taking to Las Vegas, because <laughs> she is one lucky girl. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I want these m <laughs> Are you ready? Get a phone. All right. Dr. Phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Higher hearts. They're mine. And I kept you around. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a full house. Yay! You're so good at poker. What else is new? I got that seven on the river, too. He would have beat me. <laughs> now she's talking card talk, too. Everyone was just annoyed because they say I always win everything. <laughs> Three yellows. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what I have, I want. But... Cool. So I was bluffing. Mike Boogie is a big gambler. He likens himself to be a professional poker player. Well, kind of got dropped on his head when Janelle all of a sudden started whooping ass. Yeah, that was fun and shooting tomorrow night. Who wants to come see my HOH room? Let's go. Here we go. Oh, oh my wow. God. Like, Yay! Yeah, oh. I like it. <gasps> it was so awesome to walk into my own HOH room. It was very floral. I saw pictures of my family and my dogs and my best friend Erica. Hi, Erica. I miss you. It's a very soothing room. Oh. Are you familiar with the expression "you can't get enough of a good thing"? That's not necessarily true because I've had enough flowers. <laughs> Looked like a florist had an epileptic seizure. There was flowers everywhere. Allison was chunky monkey, huh? That's probably why she worked out 15 hours a day when this she was here. This poor guy, what, put the, they won't even let the Asian guy in the picture. He should be saying, gee, I'm not in the picture. <laughs> I'm no Brad Pitt, but the season four cast photo, it's like a bunch of beasts. Who's this chick? Is that a 19-year-old? That's Michelle, the 19-year-old virgin. I can tell why she's a virgin. I mean, that's an ugly group of people. Oh my gosh. Listen, look, okay, I'm not saying this guy again. Oh. Uh -huh. Homemade chocolate chip cookies. Oh. <laughs> Enjoyed his face. Those look good. Homemade chocolate chip. Poor chicken George. Erica's mom had to send homemade chocolate chip cookies. George looked like he was going to eat the Ziploc bag as well as the cookies and take a penalty nomination. Homemade chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Bye, guys. Bye. Congrats, Erica. Cool room. Congratulations. Thank you. Here we are. <laughs> I still want to know why she voted against James. It's driving me nuts. Why? I just need to know. Well, you know what? She she lied to him. Janelle voted to evict James, and um, we didn't quite understand why. Maybe she has a deal with Chilltown. Maybe she has a deal with Chicken George. I don't, you know, everyone has a deal with everyone in this house, so who, who knows? Will was sitting on the couch and he said, look, the reason why James is gone is because of me. Why would he take that responsibility? Unless he had something working with Janelle? Maybe he just wants, I don't know. And it makes sense to me. She probably thinks she's still aligned with Will. Why would she not give him a vote when right. she won't get his vote in sequester? After she told him she was going to vote for him. See, that's stupid. What's up with that, Janelle? And then I'm thinking, did Will work on you too for you not to vote for James? What is going on here? Maybe Will said it was his doing because he got her to vote out James. It, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Kiss Will goodbye because I'm getting rid of him as soon as I can. He has to go. Well, God, he's got some control over her. Chicken George! 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 Chicken
Every few years, an amazing sporting event occurs. It's not the World Cup. It's not the Olympics. We want to see the world's best belly flop champ. You can't touch the guy. I mean, he's got the girth. Uh, he's got the worth. That's his saying. That's his motto. It's his credo. <laughs> He looks really funny when he runs because he puffs his stomach out like this and then he runs with his arms out like this. Did you know Jane Mm-mm. Come on, he talked to you. <laughs> James eviction, my hurt is now anger. I'm acting calm, I'm acting cool, but I'm really pissed off. First of all, let me just say, I know you weren't feeling comfortable with it, so I'm not gonna hold that against you. So I'm just letting you know that. Well, I, I mean... Uh, you don't have to explain it to me. This is the thing, I, I am truly sorry that I voted James out. I'm not apologizing for voting him out because mm -hmm. I do feel from all the information I gathered that mm -hmm. he was gonna come to me, mm -hmm. but I apologize to you because he was your friend. Like, right. I'm not sorry he left. No, I don't it's wanna game. pretend that. No, it's, no. That was game. It's game. Of the Legion of Doom. Mm -hmm. He was gonna come after me first and I was gonna come after him first and if Janelle won the next HOH... I feel you. She, I, she was putting Boogie and I up Janelle is a machine. She's good at this, and um, she's going to ruin my life if I don't get her out of here. End of the day, I am sorry he left, and I'm sorry for your loss it's, as a friend, a but it's a game. Danielle is a consummate professional in this game. Although she was probably infuriated at me for kicking James out, she smiled, she told me it was cool, she told me it was all good, and she said that we're just going to continue playing this game. I'm afraid what she meant is, I'm going to start kicking your butt in this game. You know what's the next age wage? I'm leaving. There's nothing I can do about that. But I don't want James to aid and abet her cause. But I'm telling way. you, he had your back. They scumbagged him. He had their back. I am just so mad. It's just like, I am going to take great pleasure sending Will home. No way. No way. No yes. way. I'm serious. I won't no do way. anything, I promise. All right, tell me a secret. Flirting with Will is kind of fun, and it gives me something to do in the house. Want to play alligator? No. No. Let me stop. You know what? Flirting makes you feel good. Not fair. I just enjoy toying with Will. He's so fun. No, seriously. No, stop. Seriously, stop. Will! He always no. does stop, stop when you know he wants it. No. He's a crush on me. No, I don't, Will. A little bit. No, I don't. A lot? No, not a lot. None? You have a crush on me. That's not true. Liar. I'm not a crush if you will. I don't like you. I'm not in love with you. Get over it. So let me get out of the hot tub. I want you to keep me company. On a scale of one to two, I really God, I'll hate you so hard. I give her a solid one. <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, ow. I hate you, Will. When you say hate, you mean... No, I don't. Love? No, I don't love you, Will. Well, I might have like a small crush on him, but very, very, very small. I think what happened is you had so much hatred it went full circle and it turned into... Uh... Not for you, Will Kirby. If I was the last one on Earth and the future of civilization depended upon our location, you wouldn't like me? I wouldn't like you, but I'd still have sex with you. Yeah, you would. Now I'm ringing the doorbell. You want some alone time? No, I want your time. It's awesome. Hi. Hello, HOH. <laughs> Happy for you, you finally got the room. All your stuff. It's what like... are we Wait, what are we doing with Will? What do you mean? Will and Janelle? Well, Will? Janelle obviously has to go. Yeah, clearly. And 
Will is going up. You won't put Danielle up? Don't we? All right, Boogie. Don't we want to send Will to the to the jury? Wouldn't we rather send? Not I mean, now. <laughs> I mean, if you're doing that, you're committing in one direction. That's. I know. Well, that's that's what I, we have to talk. Let's talk. I mean, Let's talk. I mean, you have to you have to tr think of Will as an individual here. I mean, he's gonna be like, I thought we were rolling. What's up? Right, right, right. If you said because you and I have talked I, about like sending Will to the jury. Yeah, and I just like, didn't intend for it to be this early. I still need some protection. Well, the, is your allegiance to him or is it to me? We Mike, don't. my allegiance is to you, and I keep saying that, and I'm like, I feel like you're like my allegiance is to Will. If you said pick one person, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy sending Will to the jury. Mm -hmm. I am. I just don't want to do it now. She was under the impression that uh, Will would take one for the team and leave the house. And I was like, put the brakes on that one, sweetheart. We need to uh, to talk about putting Danielle in there. Danielle's like ah, aggravating the way she just runs to the power every time, you know? I mean, I know you guys are tight, but she's just like, I know what her objective is. What? I know what her objective is. Yeah. Huh? She's just so dangerous. Like, she's just, I know. Like, Obviously, uh, my uh, allegiance is to Will, and I want to get to the finals with Will. But uh, I also have to make Erica think that there's a chance that uh, that I will bring her. If I found that you're playing me after this, I'll kick your ass. Hey, everyone! Yeah! It's Hello. time for the food competition! Bye. Everyone go change in your costumes and meet me at the back door. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Awesome! Will and I got in bees costumes. The material was kind of like a foamy nature. Look at the shitty George! <laughs> I'm not the dumbest looking one! George, he was a fat sunflower. Shitty George is like a new game. Superhero. Erica looked a little better filling out that costume, and Danielle and Janelle made for some hot ass birds, I'll tell you that. Chicken George just leaves not a lot to the imagination. <laughs> I put my bee costume on and I realized my career is probably over. There goes my medical career. Nonetheless, I knew food was on the line. I better bring my A game. Here we go! <laughs> And it was like a garden. It was like, oh, oh, big flowers, tree. Uh, oh, is that a pool or something? They gonna make us jump in that. Deceit, betrayal, and hatred often lurk in the shadows of the Big Brother house. Yeah. Uh, bad, bad, bad. But today, peace. Life and love will unite Aww. us all. By working harmoniously together, we can make our world a better place. Ooh. The birds and the bees must pollinate the flowers and fill the nectar collectors. The birds and the bees will need to fly over the giant sunflower and dunk their bodies into the nectar pool. Once our suits are dripping with nectar, you'll need to fly over the flowers and squeeze out the nectar by rubbing against the flower stem. The nectar will fall into the flowers and be collected into the containers below. The containers sit on a movable turntable. By spinning the turntable, we can control which container the nectar falls into and which food and luxuries we earn. It was my 29th day on the slop and I really needed the slop pass, like really bad. <laughs> At the end of the time limit, whichever containers are filled above the line, our prizes will earn. Together, we can make the Big Brother house a more beautiful and peaceful place. Aww. Flowers, take your positions. Birds and bees, let the love fest begin. Go, 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 go. Here's how the game works. The bees and the birds have to absorb as much nectar as possible, and then we deliver it to the flowers, where the flower helpers 
take that nectar and squeeze it down into the flower itself. And then it's funneled off into tubs. Each tub corresponds to a food group or luxury prize. Here, my hand. The tricky thing here was we have a group of people that all have different priorities. Some people really want beer and wine. Uh, Chicken George really wanted the slot pass for himself. Uh, Will was fiending for the trampoline. So we had to sort of prioritize on, on the fly. Hurry up, Doc! Doc! Come on, come on! Hurry up, Doctor! Come on, Doc! Come on. Later, later, later! The hardest part of the competition was having Chicken George jump on top of you, belly flop style, to try to wring out the nectar. Chicken George has lost 20 pounds, but unfortunately he's got about 40 more to go. Oh. Okay, here we go. go. I glanced over. I wanted to see what the girl's strategy was. Well, as far as I could tell, it was to make a hot movie. Chicken George hasn't eaten in nearly a month, and he was a little too aggressive in this competition, if you know what I'm saying. Turn it! Go, doctor! Go! Get back! Go! George jumped on me. It was really uncomfortable, because, you know, he's almost 200 pounds. I looked over the other flower, and at that point I said, thank God I'm over here. Come on! Who's that? Who's that? Oh, it's oh, full. Oh. I think I got on top of Boogie at one point. I was just on top, jumping up and down on him. I, I, God. My mom is going to be dying. Okay, other side. Christmas, we need that one. Get the Christmas! Christmas, please. Christmas is going to happen. Trampoline! Christmas is going to happen. Get the Christmas, Doctor. It's all over. Now that we've spread our seed and pollinated the backyard, let's find out what we've earned. So, did we lose the red room to earn meat and fish this week? Yay! Yay! Did we earn desserts and dairy? Ah. Bummer. We didn't fill the bucket for desserts and dairy. I love M&M's and ice cream, so I'm gonna be kind of bummed out this week. Did we earn bread and cereal? I really wanted a trampoline, so I kind of encouraged the house to go on slop for one day so we could get the trampoline. Yay! Yay! Trampoline! Trampoline! If we go on slop for a day, will there be Christmas in August? Yay! Yay! My favorite one that we had won was the Christmas in August. I really love Christmas and presents. I'd like to go skiing in Switzerland. I would like a trip to um, St. Martin or St. Bart's, a portable DVD player, engraved, of course. I would also like um, a cash prize. Anything over $5,000 will do. <laughs> do we get to choose between veggies or a slot pass? Oh. Yeah, veggies! Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, what do we choose? Veggies or a slot pass? Oh, no. Think about this. Okay, huddle. huddle. Get veggies. Oh. Yeah, veggies. Sure. veggies. Totally, let's get veggies. Like veggies. Let's get 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 veggies. All right, guys, oh. what do we choose? Veggies or a slop house? No. no. Slop house! <laughs> the house guest decided that George gets a one week pass to eat. It was like, oh, yes, I get to eat again. Do we get to choose between fruits for the week or a five-star dinner? Yay! Yay! We choose the five-star dinner. Yay! Do we get alcohol in exchange for giving up the pool table? 
The only thing we can really eat this week is meat and beer. It's kind of like the Atkins diet for alcoholics. We're going to be drunk and skinny. And that might not be a bad thing. Take it, Josh! Take it, Josh! There's no way she's not nominating you. Know. You have to say, look, um, Erica, this is something I can only discuss with you, but you can't discuss with Will, but I think Danielle's the bigger threat. And the way that, you know, Will thinks of playing this game is get rid of your, the, your bigger threat while you can, because the time's winding down fast. And Danielle's gonna flip on you real quick. Mike Boogie and I had a quick conversation, and I said, you better become Lance Showmance at about 9 p.m. tonight. See, he needs to get up in that HOH room and get Erica influenced, if you know what I mean. See, the thing is, she'll never think of Danielle as a bigger target than Janelle. Let, let her do her nominations. Mm -hmm. Let us do our magic in the POV. Okay, but make sure we don't get nominated, dude. We're not. You sure? She thinks she's in Chilltown, dude, I'm telling you. The only thing, the only thing I'm worried about is she says, I gotta put Will up as the pawn. But I'm just gonna say the last three pawns have left. Yeah. No way. Janelle's going up. I'm just making sure us two aren't the other two names. Fine. Am I really putting my future in Mike Boogie's lovemaking ability? This might not be pretty. You gotta work that this time. I'll, I'll work it, don't worry. I've been thinking about this for a long time, and well, this is your chance to have a relationship with the heartbreaker from Big Brother All-Stars. And I don't know why you're so afraid of me. I won't bite hard. As if uh, Janelle wasn't enough of a handful for him, Will uh, decided to make love to the uh, camera in the backyard. You know I love you, and I don't mean a little love. I mean a whole lot of ass. I'm not gonna break your heart. I love you. At first blush, you think I'm making sweet, sweet love to a camera, but I'm not. It's to you, America. If I could rewrite the alphabet, I'd put the U and the I together. You want a little kiss? Give me a kiss. Come here. Give me a kiss. You do not know what the doctor's doing. I guess it'd probably be pretty hard to resist, but he is a very uh, charming individual. And if he's not talking to you, he'll talk to anything that he can. You give me a kiss? Come here. Come here. Stop being shy. Stop it. No one's looking. You're naughty. You're naughty. Give me a look. No relationship is perfect, but my relationship with that camera is as perfect as one can be. Hey, can you uh, roll my shoulders a little bit? Rub them. Oh. Wait, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going anywhere yet. Not yet. Whoa, 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 hey, what? What are you doing? Come on, baby. Stop. She was playing a little hard to get, and uh, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's not you. It's me. I just can't be in this relationship anymore. And I think that we need to take some time off. I'm sorry. Just kidding. I love you and I miss you. Please take me back. Please, I love you. Nominations are today. The person I feel the most sorry for in this house, believe it or not, is Janelle. People are just constantly yelling at her and just like, God, she's got to make her own decisions. Janelle's coming right after me, but at least she's admitting it. Whereas Danielle is trying to get other people to slowly do her work until she just shows up at the finals. I, I would rather, I mean, at the end of the day, in a perfect world, I'd rather get rid of, ideally, Danielle first, then Janelle. Eric and I were in the HOH room and I was just planting some seeds. Maybe we should start considering the possibility of possibly considering getting rid of Danielle. 
But the weirdest thing is Danielle can flip her emotions on and off and do what she and will and she will do what she can do to win this money for her family. Absolutely. And to redeem what happened to her last time. Ab absolutely. And I feel like she will change what she has to do to get rid of anybody. That's why she's so shady. If she wins the next HOH, I'm afraid she's gonna mix things up. She can come right after you. She won't. She won't come after me. I don't know. She's a straight shooter. Well, yes and no. She, I mean, she what she does is she does wordplay so that she can be like, I never told you that. I told you this. If Danielle makes it in the final two, she's going to win this. I know. Danielle probably wants to get rid of me next. Yep. I'm the closest to This is winning. the irony of this game. You could beat Janelle in the finals. Mm -hmm. You can't beat Danielle in the finals. Your closest ally could be your biggest competition. We both agree that, you know, Danielle is probably the biggest threat at this point to win the game. She's a huge threat. Yeah, what can you do? Do the best you can. I think that I will most definitely be nominated today, again. The entire house has been trying to get rid of me for weeks now but like I just haven't died yet. <laughs> My gut feeling is that maybe I'm gonna be able to dodge another bullet during nominations today. Lance Showmance, i.e. Mike Boogie, spent the night in the HOH with Erica, and I'm hoping he kinda made some magic happen. Not that kind of magic. I'm just hoping he kept me from getting nominated. There is no chance that Erica will nominate me. She is falling in love with me, and I have her definitely right where I want her. I don't see myself going anywhere this week. It is absolutely so difficult to choose people for nomination. It's a huge responsibility, and it's a, it's a responsibility that I take very, very seriously. I don't know until it happens. She told me I was safe. She told me she wasn't going to nominate me. I think she has bigger fish to fry. Big blonde fish and possibly a fish that has a PhD. I think I've got an alliance with just about everybody, but I don't get to go to the meetings. It is tough to trust people when you are not invited to their alliance meetings because you don't know what they're saying. I know that when you nominate two people, one of them could possibly be leaving the house, which, you know, the dream of winning the money is over. So it's something that I'm not taking lightly at all. Again, nomination ceremony. I lost a lot of sleep last night trying to make this decision. This was very difficult for me. Um, I'm an emotional person, therefore I'm an emotional player. I can't, you know, separate the two, unfortunately. Um, but um, I took this decision very, very seriously, and um, it's just strategy. With that said, I'll pull the first key. Yeah, you are safe. Thanks, Erica. You're welcome. Mike, you are safe.
Obviously, Janelle, I have nominated you and George for eviction. Janelle, I just have to say that I was such a huge fan of you on your show, a huge fan of the way you play the game. And therefore, I think you are a huge threat and a very strong player. And, you know, that's all that it is. Um, Georgie, I nominated you against Janelle, strictly strategic. I think you'd probably be a vote to keep Janelle. I'm not the strongest player, E. You're pretty up there, though. Okay, thank I mean, you. final six. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> um, the nomination ceremony is turned. I expected to be nominated. Um, it was probably her best move, but I have allies in the house. I have Chill Tom that I'm working with. Not only that, but I plan on winning the power veto and making a big spectacle of it. Anytime Chill Town isn't nominated, it's a miracle. I don't know how Mike Boogie did it, but through his showmantical work, he got Erica to not nominate us. Does that fit into my master plan? Absolutely. Bottom line, Erica didn't nominate us. I'm cool with it. I'm the 200 pound pawn again. <laughs> uh, that's all I am. <laughs> hey, just think of the pawn makes it all the way to the end. <laughs> and he's the king. <laughs> Who will win the power of veto? And will they use it to save George or Janelle from eviction? Find out Tuesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother All-Stars.